Hi, my name is Jim Pfeiffer with Packet Video. In this tutorial video, I'm going to be covering the configuration of the Tawaki Media Server. It'll cover both the PC and the Mac platform. I'll be explaining what all the settings mean on the configuration pages, and I'll also make some suggestions for the settings for the best performance. Select the option that says Media Server Settings. First, it'll tell you how many music tracks, photos, and videos it found on your PC to share with the network. Also, it tells you information about your license and whether the server is registered or not. It tells you whether the server is up. It also tells you whether the server is going to need to restart if any settings have been changed. Another useful link is the link called Media Browser. By clicking on this, we're able to open a browser page that's serving media from the media server. This is a good way to check that the media server is up and running properly. For example, I can click into the music and see all the same kinds of content that are being offered to my other client devices on the home network. Media can be selected from here and played right through the browser. Next, we'll go into the basic setup settings. Under first steps, in here you can set the language setting. So right now mine is set to English, but you can set this to a number of different languages. There's also the server name. This is the name that you give to the server that's visible to the other client devices in the home network. For example, I've got mine set to my Twonky server. So if I go over to my PlayStation 3, I should see a server advertising itself called My Twonky Server, and I know that the content from there is coming from this particular one. There's also a navigation tree setting, and you can see that by default mine is set to Advanced Default Navigation. You can actually change this to a number of different types of navigation trees. For example, you can set the iPod-like or by folder setting, and what this does is it affects the way the metadata is exposed from this server to the other client devices. So if I set it as iPod-like, then when I go to my PlayStation 3, the navigation tree will actually look very much like an iTunes library. On the sharing page, there's actually a couple of different areas that, to make note of. One is the list of content locations. In content locations, it's showing the path names to all the different content that's on your server that it's being shared from. For example, on the PC platform, by default, it picks the My Documents area, My Music, to look for all of your music content. My Pictures is, is listed as the place for all your photos and so on. You also notice here on the right-hand side that there's a drop-down menu that tells the server the type of content that's being shared from that particular media share. For example, uh, music only is the setting for my music folder, pictures only for my pictures folder, and so on. If I want to add a new folder, I simply hit the Browse button here. I navigate to the place of my content, and I hit Select. And now I've got a setting here that says, on my C drive, it's called My New Music, and I want to set my content type to music only. One thing to note on these filters here is that it's it's a suggested way to set up the server so that you don't mix your photos and your music together. For example, if I were to put my photos and my music and set this to all content types, then you have a situation where the media server might actually grab some of your album art and think that that's photos because it's a JPEG or something like that. So it's good to keep them separated like this. Below that is a setting called Rescan in Minutes. This setting actually tells the server how often to look for new content in your media shares up here. By default on the PC platform, that's set to minus one. Minus one tells the server to automatically detect new content as it's added and scan it as it's added in. So on the PC platform, it's set by, to minus one by default. This is where the Mac platform is a bit different. On the Mac platform, the ability to auto detect new content in this way is not actually enabled. So on the Mac platform, you'd want to set this to a value, uh, some positive value. I would suggest using something like 5. 
What that would mean is that every five minutes, it will actually go and look for new content in your media shares and index it and add that to your list of content that's shared out of the server. For other tutorial videos covering the Twonky Media products, please see the Packet Video YouTube channel, or for other information, visit www.twonkyforum.com. Thank you.